Hello, this is Matthew, this is John 14. Um, the Passion of the Passion, John 14, uh, part 20. Uh, part 20 is based on verse 20. Uh, Jesus said in verse 19, A little while longer and the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live, you will live also. He goes on to say, At that, at that day you will know that I am in my Father and you in me, and I in you. Now, before when he said that I am in you and you in me and I am in the Father, he had a bit of objection from his apostles. They couldn't really understand what he was saying. But he's saying that a little, a little while longer he'll send the helper, but he'll also start to appear to them. Um, it, could it be true that when Jesus disappears off earth through crucifixion and disappears on them and makes them more fearful because he's not around again, could it be that when he starts to appear to them after the resurrection and after the 40 days, um, that they have more faith in him, that he's a God that doesn't leave them orphans but continues to come back and visit them from time to time. Could it be that when he starts to reappear um, as the Messiah to them, um, after the time of the 40 days he's still coming back to visit them from time to time, could it be that they believe that he's part of the Father now, that he's in the Father and the Father is in him, and that uh, you know that I live in you. Is it true that they'll hear Jesus speaking within themselves, within the Holy Spirit, they'll be able to speak to Jesus? And is it true that Jesus will come and manifest himself to them um, and make himself real, uh, not only in theory, in their mind, but in a practical sense, that uh, he'll just appear to them from time to time and bring them comfort. I think that's what he's talking about. How about you?